13.55, All right, uh, Brittany Anderson, uh, you did not go through to the finals um, coming from the heat of the women's 100 meters hurdles. Talk to us about how uh, you feel about uh, this uh, happening at this time of the season. I mean, it is heartbroken because I've worked so hard and I think God has put me in a position where I could come back within the year of the injury but it didn't happen but I am also grateful as well that I can keep learning through this process of track and field and life in general to just be patient and give myself a lot of grace yeah that's yeah. Much what, it. What, what was the effort like for you mentally going through that uh, re, uh, injury surgery recovery process how was it like um, for you um, I would say going into the surgery, I Break the slot. underestimate the work that I had to put in to come back. And it was a tough time, but through the grace of God, he gave me so much patience and so much peace during that period of my life. The hardest part for me was just coming back from that injury on the track. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the surgery or the, the work that I had to put in. It was just on the track and reminding myself that I have to be patient because I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to see. Right, right. And I wanted to bring back that Brittany before the surgery mm -hmm. but I think everything happened for a reason and I have to let go of that side of me and mm -hmm. embrace this new me mm -hmm. so I'm just learning through every emotion that come along the ride right um watching you over the years um, Brittany I realized something happened in the last me that you ran mm -hmm. um you're 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 you 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 are running between the hurdles seem to be off from my standpoint uh, talk to us about that particular meet what happened um i think with based on what my coach and what have i've what i've seen mm -hmm. during the videos um there is a little bit of fear going over the hurdles it wasn't necessarily in between the hurdles mm -hmm. because we've done tests and we've done a lot of sprint work that can help me in between the hurdles mm -hmm. so it's mostly over the hurdles and learning to just keep going forward instead of back, backing off and going again but that is something that I need to work on so I'll get it during the end of the season because it doesn't stop here I'm gonna keep going right so for you now I know that um, injuries sometimes have some psychological edge so obviously it affected you how great did it Daniel affect Clark you trying to go with him Shaquan Gordon Daniel Clark and Matthew Sullivan we know that injuries have a, a psychological head um, impact on athletes. Mm -hmm. What was the, 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 the magnitude of that impact? Because you said that it was the fear of going over the hurdles um, into, into the landing and, and then mm -hmm. back into your running was the issue. Talk to us, uh, what, what sort of magnitude was it in terms of psychologically? Um, on that side, I just had to keep reminding myself that I've done it before and I can do it again. I've been doing it for years. It's just that thought in the back of our heads telling that telling us that it's going to happen again because my injury happened when I was at practice hurdling. So I just need to Daniel remind Clark myself that there is Sullivan. no fear that is bigger than God and mm -hmm. he's, the, he's my rock and I just need to lean on him more mm -hmm. and stop leaning on my own understanding and just keep going and put in him first. It seems as if you are very intrinsically motivated as an individual and you seem to be very strong internally but uh what sort of assistant did you uh, uh or encouragement did you get from the outside who was the, the, those main contributing factors or persons in, in in regards to you moving forward and pulling through as an athlete going through that process <laughs> i would say other than christ himself my grandma helped me a lot my training partners um my coach my agent just my small community that I can lean on whenever I'm feeling down. Just those people that help me keep reminding me that I can do it. Okay, awesome. And you, you indicated that it's not going to be at the trials that things finish for the season. Yeah. Tell us what will happen going forward. I do plan on going to a couple more races, finishing the season in September as normal it doesn't make sense i end it here because i see that i'm the progress progressing right. every races so i'm gonna put my big girl pants on and keep going even though i'm hurt that i won't be going to the hi oh, you the girl? <laughs> that i won't be going to 
the Olympics. It's in Paris on a purple track. Yeah, but I mean, it's fine. <laughs> but how, how, how are you going to deal with it, though? I, I, I heard you. You're, you're, you're tough mentally. I'm, 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 I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. But how are you going to deal with it in terms of you have to compete on the circuit, but yet still you know that you're not. Be, uh, you will not be going to the the, the, the championship. How, how will you deal with that uh, from a uh, um, let's go now to semi-final two. Um, this is my first senior championship. In lane number two, the so man from Kingston College has welcome Ray Von Walking. With my years in track and field, I know that I have to put this behind me and keep moving forward. In lane There's three, no 1387 is best from William Dave Seven like the pass. Done, I just have to keep moving forward and keep getting better every In lane number four, let's welcome the 17 year old from Santiago, Romario Jimison. Um, you're one of the gems of sprint hurdling when it comes down to, to Jamaica seconds to and see the, the fans the really adore you Brittany I just want you to send a shout out to the fans in especially six, the fans of Coach Boys, Best Champs TV Coach Best TV minutes. fans send a shout out to the fans your well wishes out there uh, because they really 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 adore you well, big up to you guys, and I want to say thank you guys for supporting me through thick and thin. I've seen all you guys' messages, and I haven't got the time to reply, but I've seen it, and I thank you so much for supporting me, and I hope you will keep supporting me. Big up. All right, thanks, Brittany, and thank all you. the best for the remainder of the season. All right. All the best, Brittany.